I have here Eirik. Hello. Hello, hello. You just won a side event and uh, it's a pretty interesting game. I've heard uh, Sweden is the name. Uh, tell me about this game and how did you end up playing this game? Uh, yeah, it's a very interesting game. It is a uh, five card PLO combined with five card draw. So there's two quite interesting games with a lot of variants involved. Um, a lot of chopped pots, uh, interesting field, lots of Swedes and Finns. I think they love this game. As a Norwegian, um, I haven't played it much, but I just find these, you know, more innovative new types of games, at least new to me, uh, fun. So I decided to, to take a chance and uh, yeah, ended up being well. <laughs> uh, have you played other tournaments here also? I only played the WSOP uh, eight game uh, event and I finished eighth. So it was in the money, it was yeah, overall pretty good. And then a win now, it means two out of two kind of. So let's see what we can do in the horse now as well. Maybe three out of three. Ah horse also so I, he I, I I understand you are um, you like these different uh, types of games not the regular good old no limit hold'em <laughs> yeah absolutely I, I find it a bit more challenging I've played hold'em for way too long um, it's the same kind of with PLO as well it's a bit getting a bit boring so all these mixed games and the more mixed games the better I think also it's a bit easier to have an edge people have become pretty good at no limit hold'em and PLO so <laughs> Yeah, it's a lot of fun. Step up, step up. Mm -hmm. um, tell me about your poker career. Are you a professional player? Is this your work or this is your hobby? I'm definitely a recreational player. Um, but I have started to have pretty good results in the past years now. Um, I won the festival here, the main event last year. That's a No Limit Hold'em tournament. I've been doing pretty well in the national championships, etc. Uh, I have... Uh, definitely a, a job that I prioritize and I don't play that much poker but I have spent quite a lot of time studying especially mixed games but the games with uh, you know help with uh, machines and, and things like this so it's more of a, a very very deep hobby um, and I thoroughly enjoy the game and I feel like I'm getting better and better all the time so who knows maybe I'll play more in the future. Tell me uh, what is the one thing that poker gives uh, to your regular life like um, how does it help does it give something special oh that's a good question skills I, I, in poker okay oh skills in poker well i think both ways so i th believe in that i am pretty good at reading people so live poker is something i enjoy much more than online poker i have been playing poker for a very long time now um, but there's definitely a lot of synergies that you can apply both ways. So if you have certain skill sets in real life, you can apply them in poker uh, and, vice and vice versa. versa. So, but first and foremost, I love poker because of the community. I think there's a lot of great people. And I think this event in Tallinn as well is just superb. It's very exciting to be a part of it. And it makes me, you know, I'm, I'm a patriot and an ambassador of poker so I always try to to contribute as much as I can to, to make it as you know enjoy full as possible for everyone else and uh, yeah I, I just the community is so great and, and of course the, the game it's just a really good hobby to yeah relax relax the mind by, while also challenging it you know and yeah poker brings people together Absolutely. so last but not least if you could play heads up with anybody in the world, it doesn't have to be a poker player. It can be a celebrity, it can be a philosopher, somewhat somebody you look up to or you're just intrigued about, who would that be? Uh, the person is alive or, or no, dead? it doesn't have to be. Huh. Huh. Oh man, that, that is also a question I think. I probably Just would want. I would probably, overthink. yeah. I would probably need more th to think, uh, time to think about it. But I, I would probably, you know, let's let's say that I would play. I would play Elon Musk. I think he's a fascinating character and he's seemingly pretty smart as well. So, yeah, it would be see, funny to see if he could give me a challenge. Thank you so much for a lovely interview, and I hope uh, to see you here again and again. And uh, good luck to you. Thank you so much. Thank it's been you. a pleasure.